Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Dinali, a.k.a. Don Squally. And in today's video, man, we are back at it with another GTA video. So what I want to do today is just cruise the streets, see if we can snipe ourselves a uh, decent looking car not really sure what i want to do maybe like a mercedes some sort of suv a convertible i'm not really sure we're just going to cruise the streets until we find something that we like uh then we're going to take it to the chop shop and we're going to get that thing modded up now the escalade that would definitely be a nice choice looks like we got the jaguar across the street there Looks like another Jag there. Not really interested in the Jags. Um, I don't know. I kind of like the pickup trucks, the classics. Um, call me stupid, but I've, I've always been a fan in this game of like the uh, the Crown Victoria, the Caprices. Um, that car that just passed looked like some sort of Suburban. That would be kind of cool. So we're just keeping an eye out, cruising the streets here. Kind of out here in a little bit of a more populated area, so... I don't know, I saw a G-Wagon. A G-Wagon might be kind of slick. Something like this. I don't know, man. I think that might be the move. It's kind of out there. It's unique. I feel like we can make this thing look pretty sick, so... Uh, yeah, man, I guess let's steal this thing, which I don't really get to say quite that often because... We usually play in Forza where we're just buying cars, but let's take this thing to Los Santos Customs. Now, I also wouldn't mind doing an Escalade. The Escalades look kind of sick, um, but I think for today's video, we'll stick with the G-Wagon out here and uh, see what we can do with this thing. Now, I know I'm really not a big fan of Matt back... Uh, Matt... <clears throat> now, I'm really not a big fan of Matt Black paint jobs. But if there's one car that can ever pull it off, it's the G-Wagon. Just makes it look really rugged. Normally on a lot of cars, it just makes it look cheap. and makes the paint look faded. But on a G-Wagon, um, I think it's a good look. But I don't, I'm not really sure if we're going to do that with this one today. Um, so let's just go ahead and start modding. Now we're going to do some armor upgrades for sure. I want this thing to last if we're ever in a cop chase. Uh, brakes obviously help now we do have a couple bumper options which is nice we get uh, you know just some some different customization options here Now I'm not really a big fan of the winch I do like that black bull bar and I think that might be the way to go the black bull bar I don't really I like I kind of like the lights but I don't really like the winch and in order to get the black bull bar we'd have to get the lights and the winch or neither um, so yeah, that's why we're going with that the rear bumper. Let's see what we got here Not really feeling the bull bars on the on the rear bumper. I kind of like that sleek look on the back um, Obviously engine tunes. We're gonna have to upgrade the engine fully same goes with the well I guess the exhaust is more so cosmetic here um, Yeah, man, I'm kind of feeling I don't know the dual mufflers for me I think the stock exhaust is the way to go most definitely on that one. The other two just look a little cheap. Um, fenders here, that's just the snorkel. I think we're going to pass on that. Now the grill, I would like to get rid of this emblem um, and put something blacked out. And I think right there, the black grill is going to be the way to go on this one. The hood, then we got the diamond plate with the spare tire. Not really feeling either of those. I want to keep this truck looking nice and clean. Uh, horns, I'm not really, a, I don't really care too much for horns, so we're just going to pass on those. Uh, we are, however, going to upgrade to the Xenon headlights. Um, we're going to pass on the neon kits. I don't want this thing to look too ricey. Uh, as far as plates go, I wouldn't mind a black plate. Uh, don't really like the yellow lettering. There's not many others that are any better. Um, now comes comes the fun part here, and that is the uh, the color. So let's go ahead. I'm thinking we'll skim through some classic colors just to get an idea of, of what route we want to go. Now, I love white on these trucks as well. Um, hopefully, we can paint those fenders and the roof, though. Red always looks sick on these as well, but like I say, that matte black... Um, but matte black kind of looks like every other G-Wagon. So let's see if we can kind of 
kind of spice things up a little bit here keep things interesting now i'm not sure about this bright orange the gold like kind of creamy color kind of looks cool but i i honestly have to say i know i said i was just going to spice things up but we got to stick with that white um the white i think just looks so good on this and if i can paint uh, the fenders and the roof, which I think I'll be able to here. That white's just going to look sick. We'll get some nice chrome wheels on this thing. Like that just looks absolutely crispy right now. Um, so next up, we're going to see, oh, we have some roof options. I don't think there's going to be anything here that I'm really going to like, but we'll see. That's going to be a no. That's also a no. Those are all hard no's for me. Uh, as you can see, we're trying to keep like a nice street look. I know there's a lot of off-road options with this thing because um, some G-Wagons can be converted to the off-road spec, but that's not what we're doing. Uh, I do like the black side steps though, so we're going to put those on. Um, I recently put side steps on my Tundra and I have to say the... Uh, just the functionality of having a good solid sidestep is just um, you, you really can't um, you know you can't put a penny on something that convenient and I thought this uh, this fifth wheel here at the back was gonna be super ugly but I really like that I think it's a nice touch um, so let's install that transmissions gonna get fully upgraded um, obviously we got to add a turbo um, and now comes another one of the parts uh, that's really going to set this thing apart, and that's the wheels. So I'm going to skim through a couple of our wheel options. I want something that looks good and is really going to, uh, you know, suit this truck nicely. So I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can find here. Now, I did go through a couple of these different wheels here, and I'm really a fan of these ground rides. I like the thin spokes. I like how there's a nice dish and a little bit of a lip on there and i did lower this truck which i think i'm actually going to raise this thing back up to stock height once we get everything done up here now i do want to put the center uh black but leave the outer lip chrome now i know i do have the option of painting the inner lip um but i'm not gonna or the outer lip i should say i'm not gonna do that i do want to keep that uh, keep that chrome we're gonna drop some limo tint on this thing and that's all that we have there for the mods but like I say I do want to lift this thing back up to its stock height uh, I don't think lowering it is really doing it justice uh, now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and take this thing out on the street and uh, see what this thing's all about Now this thing is so sick right now. I love the lights with the white. And just hitting the gas, it actually feels pretty quick. I can't lie here. Uh, so what I think we're going to do uh, is head back to Franklin's crib here. We're going to have a little bit of a sleep and hopefully get the opportunity to uh, see this thing in daylight. But since it is nighttime, we'll first see how this thing rides. Now, obviously, with it being a tall SUV, it doesn't handle that well. It's almost too fast for its own good because it gets going so fast. And you guys just saw I went to go take a fast turn there. Almost ended up rolling it. Squeezing by there, bro. Just slow down if you wouldn't mind, Chief. Now, it does have a really good turning radius. But I think the real treat with this thing is going to be actually seeing it from the outside. So let's pull it in the garage. Whoa, what do we have in here? Oh, that's the F-350 from our last build. wonder if we can squeeze two vehicles in here. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that there. And let's run inside here and um, see if we can get to daylight just by taking a nap. We're going to jump in the bed here. 
And hopefully when we wake up, it'll be daytime. And now that it is daytime, let's jump up in the garage. Hope that truck is still there. I don't know how many trucks we can fit in there. There it is. Let's go ahead, pull it out. And have a look at this beauty. Now this thing is so sick. I'm so happy with the way this thing turned out. Let's uh, let's get ourselves to a nice backdrop here, so we got you know some, something to look at, and we're not on such a hill. Uh, but with the speed, we'll just pull off into this little parking lot right now. Listen, bro, that's not my problem, okay? And uh, we're going to do our little 360 here for the end of the video. Now, this thing, just absolutely pristine. Look at the paint on this thing. Um, like that we stuck with the stock dual exhaust, too, because the other one with the burnt tips just, I don't know, really would have made this thing look ricey. And with the black bumper guard and the black grill and that, uh, you know, the white paint, black little stripe along the side and the black rims i think we really hit this one on the head um but if you guys did enjoy this one don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet definitely do so uh we got lot lots more gta content coming um as you guys could probably tell we're playing some dirt um and a few other games just to pass the time. Um, so as always, I'm your boy Dinali, a.k.a. Don Squally. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And we're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Recovery of a lifetime. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh. Fuck. Ah. Yeah, keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the race or anything.